everybody. The sun is really in my face. <laughs> I'm gonna make a world famous unboxing video. I present, guess what it is? I don't know why I did that. Hello, I got a cut. Oh. Mm. I screamed when I opened the door. I was thinking maybe for some reason my first thought was it was my ACT test thing, but it just really sealed for like evidence. Um, this is from Father Daughter Records. I'm sorry I'm talking like this. I guess that I feel pumped. Um, if, I didn't say it's Attic of Basements. Dancing is a depressing record on vinyl. Um, it's like a red bone splatter. Hello. And here it is. Oh, I got a little postcard from Ed. Okay. Here it is, the expanded edition. It also has my favorite song by Attica Bass. Thank you, what you wanted. Um, this is beautiful. This is one of my favorite bands. And it came with a little postcard. I'm gonna have to hang up in my room one of these days. It says, greetings from Attica Basement. And there's Mike Greinheimer wearing his crush shirt, which I've seen in one of the very few pictures of Attica Basement. And it says, hello, dear friend and gentle listener. With this note, I expressly intend to extend my eternal, eternal gratitude. Sincerely, all my best, Mike. It's a handwritten note from Mike Ryan. I oh, it's a copy of the note, but that's a... Where is it? It's a copy of the note, but that's okay. I don't know. That's not disappointing at all. I think that is so sweet. Dear friend, I'm his dear friend, and he thinks I'm a gentle listener. This is the best postcard I have received in my lifetime. And I don't, why does my face look so red? <laughs> oh, sorry, that noise on me. It's very red right now, that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do now, we are gonna take a little, little snippy to the plastic that could in the little, uh, Oh, you know, the record itself. If I can, I'm trying to do it gently. Because once I did do that on like a record, I did like kind of, I think it was my Misfits Collection 2 record that I got for Christmas. Oh, this, watch this. It's like taking off your pants. I'm being gentle, but I'm being efficient, because I know this is a video, the artwork on this is so cool, I don't know, I just love how like, personal attic abasement really is, like I feel like, or I don't know, I love how like tight knit it seems of a band, whoa, look at this, I best be hanging this up. <laughs> Little doggies. <laughs> oh, and there's a naked woman on a clothed man. It says that tracks 1 through 10 were written and recorded by Mike Reinheimer during 2009 in Rochester, New York, in Savannah, Georgia. And tracks 11 through 12 were written and recorded by Reinheimer during summer of 2010 in Rochester. Now, all instruments are by Wein <laughs> Weinheimer. Reinheimer, except drums on three by Tim Wilson and bass on three by Benton Silic. And backing vocals on one, three, five, and ten were by Aaron Riedel. Or Riedel. And art is by Bobby McManus. Layout by Amy Fleischer Madden. Copyright 2018. Here's the other side. This is so cool. And that's so incredible that this whole album, like he did get help of course, but like he really did so much himself. He does all the songwriting. Like, I think that's so admirable. Oh my God, here it is. Just 
take a look at the little circle for now. I'm just gonna focus. <laughs> wow. This is gorgeous. Okay. Imagine if I dropped it. <laughs> wow. It looks so pretty <gasps> against the sunlight. If only I had another person here to like take a picture. Then I tell them to leave so I can admire this record on my by myself because I use my own money and almost fell through my legs. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, my face is so red. I don't really like it. I feel a little insecure right now, but I feel happy and excited. Um, so thank you for watching Attica Basement, uh, my Grindheimer. If you're watching this, you probably aren't. But I just hope you know that your music is so beautiful and I feel like I can relate to it so much. It just feels like I'm listening to my dear friend just singing sweet tunes to me and it, I don't know, it makes the days go by a lot easy, <laughs> easier for me um, when I listen to you. So thank you for that. And thank you for creating such beautiful albums and for letting this album be released on vinyl since I know you made it, the album, like, almost nearly 10 years ago. But, yeah, have a great day. I'll see you next time, maybe. <laughs>